Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old. Hope everyone is having a good day. I'm doing my dear um, whatever element series. So my best friend is an Aries. So I thought I would do Aries next, even though I did all the earth signs. So we'll move on to um, fire. Fire signs are passionate people, and they're usually really good at what they do. They're very creative. Taken the wrong way sometimes, but they are really good people. Not the greatest at expressing how they feel, but catch on after a while. What are the messages for Aries? What is some advice for Aries? What do they need to know? What is some advice? I forgot to do my little rocks. I forgot. <laughs> Gonna clear, clear some energy. I threw it on the floor, so it probably doesn't help out very much, does it? Fuck. What is some advice for Aries? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? You guys want a personal reading? The um, info is in my link below. So far, I just have an instant go and I have PayPal. It's connected to my email. The messages for Aries. What do they want them to know? strong this is your card and do you know how strong you guys are stand tall stand up lift your head up you know what you're doing you're smart enough to get it done and anybody who knows would know the right intentions that you have for things and if they don't fuck them You have the moon card in reverse. So whatever it is that is on your mind and you don't really know, feel like you don't have the answers to, this card tells you that there will be a message revealed to you in your dream, so pay attention. Because you're depressed. And you felt like someone let you down. Someone really disappointed you. Even though someone's trying to send you a message about maybe just checking on you to see how you're doing, someone that really cares about you. You're in your full element, so even if you feel like you're falling apart, you're not. This is you standing tall in your power, authority, structure. Make a plan, a strategic plan. You guys are planners. Make a plan and do it. Because you know which way you want to go and who you want to work with. But there's something that you can't move on from or you feel like you can't move on from right now. Maybe it's an air sign. Someone who wants to come back to a situation after after they're saying that they learned their lesson. Or maybe this is just how you feel about Maybe you want to go back to someone that you know. But there's some toxic people or toxic um, behaviors or thoughts, etc. around you. Addictions. I think that you know which way that you want to go. Maybe it's towards an earth sign. 
someone who's reliable and patient and hardworking. And this is probably the energy that you're taking on because this is how you are, right? These are how, this is how you are. It's not the thoughts that you keep replaying in your head about yourself. Maybe it's time to spend some time by yourself, alone with your music. Like this lady is playing a fucking piano in the woods, just chilling, okay? You need to clear your head a little bit. Find something that makes you happy. For yourself, not anybody else. Stop reminiscing, maybe, a little bit about old shit. Unless you're going to do something about it, but at the same time... Maybe you're on like an innocent love level with somebody. That new love, like butterflies and shit. But you feel like you're in a difficult position. Because you have someone who... is really good with their money or maybe this is another energy that you're taking on is just being this what you're trying to be is practical and have a lot of su success and be really good with your money you're very disciplined and routine oriented so you're kind of reflecting or maybe you feel like you need to reflect about something in your life kind of go within and trust your intuition because you're feeling like you need to be self-defensive about something or you need to fight for something or maybe you are fighting for something in your life. But there was a false start. Something didn't happen the way that you wanted it to. There might have been a delay. And someone didn't work with you the way that you wanted them to work with you, maybe an earth sign. Because maybe you or this other person was unsure of what they wanted really in life. Things are going to be balanced and evened out, and it'll be fair for everyone involved. Even though someone might not be very happy with you right now, <laughs> the Queen of Swords in reverse is a woman scorned, and they're usually cutthroat, even more cutthroat than normal. They're usually mad as fuck. You want to take a leap of faith with somebody. There's going to be a new start with somebody after a complete ending in something in your life. There's going to be a new start with something that you want. So it's time to leave a situation that no longer serves you. And maybe the best way to do it is without saying anything. Because you feel like things are falling apart. And you're in a stalemate right now with someone even though there was someone that you wanted to offer a um, solid commitment to. Turns out they're a little insecure and smothering and might be dealing with some, tor some sort of addiction in their life. Things are going to be balanced for you, Aries, in the near future. And you're going to have harmony and your problems are going to be resolved and you're going to be successful. But some things need to go in your life. All the things that were built on a faulty foundation will be torn away. And judgment is going to be served to the people that deserve it in your life. Because there is someone that you love. And someone that you feel like is your wish come true. Or maybe they feel this way about you. But you're stuck in your head. Taurus, get out of your head. It's in your head. You need to be very clear and direct about your plan. Make your plan and be very clear and direct about what it is that you want. <coughs> and you need to speak your truth to everybody that's involved. Because there is some gossiping and stuff that's going on. Maybe you feel defeated. You're having some mixed feelings about separating from somebody. Or you are worried about some type of um, relationship you're going to have this solid ground to stand on with somebody, maybe an earth sign. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Pay attention. The high priestess doesn't speak. She listens and she pays attention. 
There's a new start and abundance sitting right here waiting for you. Even though there was some immaturity and codependency sitting around the situation, maybe a breakup in the near future. Maybe there were frustrations and delays of the things that you wanted to do in your life. There's going to be celebrations and homecoming and family, friends. There's going to be good times to be had. Even though right now things aren't moving forward the way you want them to. And you might be a little depressed. Because you're putting the work in so... For a long-term investment with somebody. And there will be new money coming in for you or a new start with an earth sign. There's a water sign here as well that wants to offer you a cup of love. Or maybe you want to be somebody's Prince Charming. But you don't want to be left out in the cold. You want someone on the same level that you are. But you're in your feelings about all the bad things that happened to your life, but not necessarily the good. Because there, are, this chick in the card is um, in her feelings about the cups that are on the ground. She's not paying attention to the gold one that's in the water that's not broken. And the one in her hands that has a fish in it that's alive. And the one on the ground behind her has a fish in it that, two fish in it that are alive. It's basically crying over spilled milk, but you're forgetting about the shit that you have good in your life. Because there's some new things you want to do. Maybe you want to go to school. This talks about a raise or a new job. Maybe you want a new to go do a different job. Because there's some people around you, or maybe this is you just not ready for something in your life. But there is someone that's not ready. For whatever it is, you will know I'm not me. <laughs> um, there's going to be victory for you. All of the hard work that you're putting in will be recognized, and it could be promotion, but in general, there's victory. This is the victory card, okay? So, there might be some confusion and indecision and a lot of shit going on in your head, but it's time to come to a compromise, you and this other person that you're dealing with. Even though there's been some lying and cheating going on, Maybe with an air sign. And someone broke your heart. Or you broke theirs. Some type of loss and depression that surrounds this card. Because someone was in and out of your life. And they really weren't there for the right reasons. And they were chaotic to you. Really impulsive. Or maybe this is how you've been to someone else. But this is the reason your life didn't move forward the way you wanted it to. You are stuck in, um, you're stuck in this wheel of fortune right now because things are out of control in your life. So it's time to put the work in on something that you want to do. Trying something new. Building your own web by yourself, for yourself, to figure out what it is that you want. And you're going to be getting a message about someone who's gossiping and spying, which we already probably know. And you have someone in your life who is chaotic. The Knight of Wands in reverse is someone who is in and out and usually sleeps around. And it's because they don't know what they want. You are the other person. I don't really know and I'm not here to point fingers. I'm just reading the goddamn cards. Okay, don't shoot the messenger. Four Cups in reverse. You feel like you're going to miss an opportunity with someone. Someone that you love. Because there were some other people involved in a situation, possibly. It's time to come out of isolation and paranoia. Have a little bit of faith and be defensive for the things that you want, but stop pushing people away. Because you are so stressed, it's to the point that you do need to ask somebody for help. There's going to be clarity about whatever it is that you can't figure out the answer to or what to do in your life. There are people that are understanding and here for you. People that are emotionally balanced and they're here for like to be like they're really protective of their family and their friends. 
There's people in your life that make you really happy. Maybe some you do or this person for somebody else. You can't control this. And you can't make things happen the way you want them to this time. Because you're struggling and you're overwhelmed. And this isn't something that you can commit to right now. Or this other person can't. Because it's one-sided. Maybe you don't feel the same way about them. Or maybe they don't feel the same way about you. But you guys aren't on the same page. And you feel like you wasted your time. Because you're really depressed. You're in the middle of completing a life lesson right now. So it's time to move forward. Speak your truth. Maybe have a new start with an air sign. Mental clarity is when the truth comes out about everything. When you speak what needs to be said out loud. Instead of staying stagnant and stuck and keeping everything inside and refusing to change. It's time to release all of these thoughts that you have in your head and all the things that are keeping you bound to whatever situation or whatever things that you have going on. It's time to have hope in something and to escape the things that are in your head so that you can liberate and free up your mind so that it can think and work in the way that it's supposed to. Because right now, you're kind of coming off as someone who only cares about themselves. And I think that's because you're not speaking your truth to the people that you probably should be. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day.